Here's a new episode of Medicine in 3 minutes. As usual, we go straight to the point. The subject is barely made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is Parrot disease of bone. Here's a little remember of bone remodeling. Uh, remodeling. If, you start, if we start from resting bone, we go to bone absorption, from bone absorption to transition, and from transition to bone formation, and from bone formation to resting bone. Between resting bone and bone absorption, it's the action of osteoclasts. Between bone resorption and transition is the action of osteoblast. Between transition and bone formation, it's matrix synthesis, it's the action of osteoclast and osteoblast. The disease is more common in all people, 3 to 4% over 50. There is some predominance in men than women. Here's an overview of the disease. Predominant in men over 40. The essential point to remember is there is normal parity with the hormone and calcium. In parotid disease, there is normal parity with hormone and calcium. But alkaline phosphatase is elevated. There is an increased activity of osteoblasts in osteoclast, there is an increase in skull, in skull diameter. The high output of hair, fire, hair failure and there is a hearing loss. There are many fractures of bone. And the diagnosis is made by bone scale. The management is biophosphonate and calcitonin. Point to remember, bone of the leg may bend or bow out. Maxillar is more frequent than mandibular. Lion-like face deformity. Bone scan of mandibular shows black beard or lankal side. Lion-like facial deformity is also called lyontiasis ossea. What about the differential diagnosis? First of all, a radiopaque lesion of the jaw suggests osteomyelitis. Second, osteosarcoma. And three, fibrosis dysplasia. Let's review. Male over 40, parathyroid hormone and calcium are normal, but alkaline phosphatase, phosphatase is elevated. There is increased activity of osteoblast and osteoclast, increased uh, skull diameter, heading loss, high output hair failure, many fracture of bone, the diagnosis made by bone scan, and the management by biophosphonate and calcitonin. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the like button and subscribe? Your comments are every time very welcome. Thank you.